Hello, beautiful butterflies. Welcome to Mirror Pose of Wisdom. I'm Jennifer Love. I'm an angel intuitive and life coach. I'm a Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising. My Mercury is in Scorpio and my Venus is in Libra. I like to call myself triple Scorpio. Um, I like to give a little disclaimer now. Um, I live in the light, but I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm not the sugar plum fairy. I'm more like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> I'm not going to paint a pretty picture of your love life with unicorns and rainbows. So if you're looking for fairy tales with Happily Ever After, I'm probably not your reader. I'm here to share what you need to know. So if you're still here, <laughs> this reading is the current energy in love for Aries for April 2020. This is the current energy. Energy can change based on your free will choices. That's what makes intuitive reading so powerful. Hopefully you could use the guidance to make better choices. This message will not resonate with everyone. Just keep the messages that are for you and let go of the rest. If it's not your story, please check your moon or rising sign or come back next month. If you're watching, I can connect with your energy and tell your story next time. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to me, you're most welcome here. Whoa, it, I'm in um, Southern California and it's hot today. Um, I am upstairs and the windows open. So if you hear anything outside or my crazy neighbors, please forgive me. And I am wearing shorts, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not uh, undressed over here. Um, yeah. So Aries, what is the current energy in love for Aries? Let's get one overall card for the month to start us off. First chakra, Archangel Michael. So this is the root chakra. So this is your security and safety and abundance. So if you've been feeling a bit less than safe lately. Aries, you are not alone. I think a lot of people have been feeling a lot of fear, certainly around the whole um, situation around, you know, the virus. And uh, while I'm not a health reader, I just, you know, I sympathize and empathize with people who, you know, are not feeling so great at this time. I, I mean, I feel the energy. It's very heavy. It's very um, oppressive. Like, it's, it's rough. So, yeah, I can, I can feel you if you're not feeling... 100% lately, Aries. Reconciliation. Someone from the past might be coming back. So if you want that, great. If you don't, <laughs> it's okay to pay attention to the red flags. So this person is an ex for a reason, right? <laughs> you know it's true. New love. Okay, well, we, Aries, this is awesome because we have choices, okay? Like, I really like this reading already. So, someone from your past is coming back, and you also have new love coming in. So, you get to choose. Do you want the person from the past, or do you want the new person? But you need to pay attention to the red flags for both. Like, it doesn't matter which person. You need to pay attention to the red flags either way. The angels will give you signs for sure. Queen of Swords. So I think that you need to approach this with your Queen of Swords energy. Like, don't take shit from anybody for sure. Be, you know, be on point. Be sharp and assertive. Definitely the person that's coming back could open up some old wounds for you. This is Five of Cups. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of dark and weird. Uh, five of Cups. This person might, you know, trigger some old stuff. And, oh, Three of Swords. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
um, you know, sad, three of swords, sadness, heartache. Um, so definitely approach this from a intellectual head space and not leading with your heart space because if you're leading with your heart space, you're going to get hurt. Okay. When you're come, when this person is coming from the past, like definitely pay attention to their actions. Don't lead with your heart because leading with your heart is going to get you in trouble. Like you're going to get, you're going to get played. So I'm cautioning you to pay attention to what this person says and does. Don't pay attention to, say so this is like very counterintuitive to what I would normally do in my own <laughs> life. I'm all about, I told you, I'm a triple Scorpio. I'm all about my feelings. How does this person make me feel? How do I feel in their presence? You know, but I'm telling you, do not feel. Think how, think about what is this person saying? What is this person doing? How is this person acting? Like go from a thinking place. Forget about how you feel. Don't worry about how you, this person makes you feel because you're going to feel like excited. You're going to feel like, oh, this person loves me. Mm -mm. Pay attention to what they do. Are they paying attention to you? Are they calling you every day? Are they taking you out? You know, and I get it. We can't go out right now. You know, everybody's at home. But, you know, they should be paying you attention. You know, okay. Marriage. This relationship's moving towards a sacred union. Okay, so obviously this is not happening in April, but you get the picture. Okay. Um, if you want it to, it could move to marriage. If you're careful, right? If you pay attention and don't let your um, <sighs> I want to say like let your don't let your base chakra get in the way <laughs> but that's not that's really sacral chakra right um yeah don't lead with your uh Let's lead with your head, not your heart, okay? When we're making this decision about the reconciliation. Yes. What are we saying yes to? I need to know some more info, please. Pause and reflect, okay? We have to know that this person, we, we broke up for a reason. We have to know that this person has changed. The behavior is different. Something's different. Are they still unable to give? Are they going to give us more this time? Or is it just going to end in heartache like last time? Okay, should we just like move on and focus on new love? Because we don't need to get hurt again, right? Aries, like, ain't nobody got time for that. Stay the course. Yeah, you could hang in there. Like, hang in there. See what happens, right? It's not like, um, you don't have to rush, right? Nobody's going anywhere. But you have to pay attention to their actions. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Like, it's not about what someone says, you know, all the time. It's about what they do. Um, I want to get some, like messages from your person I'm going through a lot I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes that's good I mean I like to see that if this person's coming back you know you want to know that they're you know that they have learned from their past mistakes and they are taking responsibility. Oh my God, I just noticed the responsibility is spelled wrong on this card. <laughs> I don't know. It's spelled wrong. Like, I don't know why that bothers me so much. My, my 
my daughter always makes fun of me because I'm like so weird about spelling. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, okay. What if you don't accept me for who I really am? Hmm. They're worried about, you know, that if you don't, um, if you don't take them back, right? Like you could just say, you know what? You hurt me. I'm done. I'm queen of swords. I'm like done with your ass. Like I, I don't need this shit. <laughs> right? Um, I just want to know, like, what is this about? Like what? Is it just that this person is unable to give you what you wanted? Like, they're just unable to be what you wanted? Blame? I accept responsibility? So, they're taking responsibility. They accept responsibility. Okay, I get it. Like, but for what? Like, what happened? Envy. I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. I kind of feel like you guys fought over, I want to say status, like, um, not necessarily money, but you were more successful than your partner and they were a little bit envious of that. Um, and it was like a source of contention that you were more um, successful than your partner. And yeah, and they, they just felt like They just weren't good enough, basically. Weren't good enough for you. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, they had a rough life. Like, I feel this person is very, like, blue collar. Like, um... Or they, like, pulled themselves up by their bootstraps kind of person they weren't handed things they very much um, either like supported themselves or worked their own way through school or um, were you know on their own at a very early age um, so yeah the fact that you were um, a little bit more successful than they were it was a little bit difficult for them to Yeah, be that person that you wanted. They felt like they were unable to give you the kind of life that they felt like you deserved or that you, the life that you wanted. But I'm not even sure that's what you wanted. It's just what they think you wanted. I think you need to communicate to this person, like, is it really, is that really what you wanted? Like, you want this, like, huge house or like you know flashy lifestyle or are you like happy you know with what you have um yeah I mean I just think it's a uh, is this person unable to give you what you want because yeah then it's not going to work out it's not going to work out ever right but if you don't even want those things then you have to tell this person that I already accept you. It doesn't matter what you can give me or not. Okay, so let's get a message from your guardian angel for the month. What message is for Aries for the month? It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. 
this message came out for cancer, I believe. Anyway, well, you know, while we're all, you know, quarantined in place or whatever, it, it doesn't mean, you know, you have to sit around and watch Netflix. You can start new projects, right? You can try new things. Um, and your garden angel is saying that, you know, they're going to support you doing new things at this time. So don't waste time just because you're home, you know, do something, start something new, try an online course, like study something new or like read a book on something you've been wanting to study or whatever. Um, it's okay to give birth to new ideas right now because um, your angels are protecting you through these changes. That's what they wanted to tell you. And an abundance message for you. Message for your abundance. Unlimited ideas. Very cool. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas, guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. That's awesome. I, I wish you could, I hope you can see the picture. It's very, very pretty. Um, it's this like, she looks like an uh, angel or a fairy and she's just like looking up at the moon. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever this idea is that you have for a new project, um, it's okay to start it right now and move forward because your angels are supporting you. It's, it's safe to start it, right? It's going to be okay. All right, so Aries, I hope... Um, this message resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if any of these messages resonated for you. Um, I'm new and I'd really like to grow and reach more people. Drop a comment below and let me know if anything was spot on. I will be going live and taking personal love and relationship questions a few times a month. So hit the notification bell if you'd like to participate. Um, if you enjoy card of the day readings, you can follow me on Facebook at I am Jennifer Love and Instagram at jenniferlove.me. I really love to do readings for you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit jenniferlove.me. Don't forget, you always have a choice between love and fear. Choose love. I'll see you next time. Bye.